What's going on everyone? This is V6 Lifestyle here and today I'm going to be going over my modifications on my 2013 Dodge Challenger SXT. And uh, some of these mods could be applied to the 08 to 2010 uh, XST Challengers while the other mods could be applied to generally all SXT Challenger models. Keep in mind my Dodge Challenger is my daily driver so I did not want to get crazy with the modifications on it. I'm going to start with the very first mod I've done to the very last, starting with the window lovers, the rear passenger and driver's side, as well as the rear window are all from MP Concepts. They are made out of injected molded ABS construction. Uh, they don't feel cheap at all and I like the look it gives to the Challenger. I've had them on the car for over a year and honestly I haven't had any issues with them. The very next mod I decided to do to my Challenger was to install the SR Performance Lowering Springs. I do not like seeing how much wheel gap the Challenger had so I decided to lower it. In addition with the lowering springs on the Challenger it also helps with the, your lower center of gravity for improved handling. With the SR Performance lowering springs installed it dropped the front of the vehicle by 2 inches and the rear by 2.1 inches. I love the interior of the 08 through 14 Challengers however I prefer having the lights from the 15 and newer Challengers. With that said I decided to change the headlights and taillights. I decided to install Raxium dual LED halo projected headlights which not only improves visibility, it also gives the headlights a more modern look which I actually do prefer. And as for the taillights, I installed the Raxium smoked LED taillights which look identical to the 15 and new challengers but with the add-on bonus of the smoked out tail out look. As we take a look under the hood, not only did I install the SR Performance lowering springs, I also installed the SR Performance Code A intake. Honestly, before I installed it, I really wasn't expecting any noticeable differences but boy was I surprised. I actually did notice a somewhat deeper exhaust tone as well as a better throttle response. And speaking of exhaust, uh, when I purchased this car, the previous owner already had an exhaust installed. As I looked under the vehicle, the previous owner installed a Pipes Street Pro catback exhaust and honestly I just love the way it sounds. Uh, take a listen. And just like the exhaust, the previous owner also installed 19 inch rims. I believe these rims are the STR-607s, but I could be mistaken. Um, but honestly, I love the look on these rims, especially if you compare these to the stock Challenger rims. And yeah, with that said, I hope I might have gave someone out there some ideas to help with their builds. And this is all the mods I've done to my 2013 Dodge Challenger SXT. Hope you guys enjoyed.